Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Fanta and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are doing another theme team battle. So a few weeks ago, I did the Vegeta theme team versus Goku. So today we're doing the Goku theme team versus, of course, Vegeta. It's Goku's payback time. So as you can see, this is a full Goku team and pretty much the chosen units here uh, the evolution of Goku throughout Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z. I didn't want to include Dragon Ball Super and Dr Dragon Ball GT just because I didn't want the fandom to go crazy. Why didn't you put Super Saiyan 4 as your leader? Because he's better than Super Saiyan Blue or whatever. So I just kept it simple, kept it with the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z because everyone can say that Dragon Ball Z was good in some way. And it is canon, of course. So, for our leader, we're running Super Saiyan Goku. Of course, he's a 3 key leader, and he provides attack plus 3000 as well. And he's going to do a lot of damage, especially in the AGL stage. So, that's going to be our hardest hitter in the team. Then we have Kid Goku, of course. We couldn't forget his youth. Uh, he's just there because he's the best Kid Goku I have. He's not going to be too special. He's only super attack level 1, so he's just going to be a floater. Then we have this base Goku doing the feet come in here. I pulled him off screen, so I was pretty happy. He's super attack level 5, and he has a rare chance to stun the enemy. Only good for the first three stages, but when we get to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, he's not going to be that particularly useful. He has attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack, so that's nice, and shocking speed. I don't know who has shocking speed in this team. I didn't really check, but it's still a good link anyway. Then we have Kaioken Goku, he is pretty good, he's not awakened because I don't have any medals to awaken him, but next World Tournament, hopefully I can. He greatly raises the attack and causes huge damage to the enemy, so obviously he's not going to be doing too much damage. But the reason why I brought him here, not only because he is a different form of Goku, but he can change strength key orbs to rainbow orbs, so that's going to help the Super Saiyan 3 Goku do some massive damage, our friend one, and he has all those good key links that Kai can Goku's have. Then we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel from the Barber Store. I had to reverse him because I did have him in the Super Saiyan 3 form. So for this video, I spent 30 gems, so hopefully this was worth it. Uh, he just provides himself key and an attack boost. It's pretty good. Uh, of course, his Awakened version is better. And then our Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the one that I'm bringing, is the free tech one. Since I can't bring the physical one, of course. And then Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku as our friend. He's got no dupes, so nothing too special, but still going to do a lot of damage. So let's see if this can handle the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Doken event. There is going to be some tough parts, especially the strength phases, because we do have three physical fighters in our team. So most of them are going to be in the floater spot. I'm probably going to keep the Kaioken Goku next to the Super Saiyan 3, our friend one, so he can provide rainbow orbs. But that's about it. The rest of the physical units are going, whoa. That's a lot of key for the Kid Goku there. Alright, so. Obviously, the friend is only providing key for our tech units. So, it's not going to be too good for the other units. But, hopefully, this we are able to get through this without any problems. And, we'll just super attack with the base Goku there. And then, we'll just keep the... Kaiken just sitting there. Probably going to... Nah, I'm gonna risk it. It's only one hit from him at the end. Hopefully he doesn't do too much damage. If he does and I die, then you won't be seeing this. <laughs> Alright, so he's still hitting quite a lot. Luckily, we are able to use him as the uh, person to get super attacked instead of the base Goku. Oh, he is stunned. That's pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to put the Super Saiyan 3 Goku there so that he can meet up with the base Goku eventually, and then LR Goku will be on the other rotation, because I don't want them together, I want the free-to-play one and him together. Alright, let's see how much damage he does. We collected a few rainbow orbs, so this might do a lot of damage. Maybe a million? Ah, oh, 600,000. Still good, though. So we just need a lot more stuns off with the... Come here, are Goku, and then we'll be all good. So, first stage done. Let's see what we got for our second stage. Tech. And of course, <laughs> our kid Goku's here with that amazing key at the start. Going to do that. And then I'm probably going to just Android 8 here. Heal up. <laughs> 
All those can be so good for the rainbow orbs. Obviously, you're not going to collect them all. That amazing 14,000 damage. Let's get a crit here. Level 20 crit. Hey, that's what we like. And yeah, you just do nothing. <laughs> 28,000, okay. Alright, here we go. Our good rotation. So we'll grab all those. We might as well grab all those. The bad thing about this Super Saiyan 2 Goku is that he loses his ability to stun because only his Super Saiyan 3 form can. But at least he revives himself with some key. And crit would be good, but that's hardly going to happen because he's only level 5 crit. But we take him out anyway, so I'll take that. Now on to one of the hardest parts, which is the strength Super Saiyan 3. Alright, let's put them together, and then I'm going to Ghost Usher. Oh, I should have Ghost Usher next turn. That was pretty stupid of me. Uh, let's grab all these. And, well, that kind of sucks. We'll just grab those. They're going to change the rainbow orbs, the blue orbs, I mean the red orbs. So, that will be uh, connecting with the blue orbs for the friend. Nice. Come on, let's get a crit here. Damn. Level 20 crit. Hey, what's with these additionals? Why are we getting so many additionals now? It'd be funny if uh, this kid Goku turns into grade 8. I wouldn't want that because that would ruin our rotation, but it would be pretty cool. Ooh. Look at all those orbs we can get. Uh, let's take these. Will I die? Probably, so I will... Oh, Icarus. I think that's a good decision. And we'll take those. We are blocking with physical, I just realized. <laughs> with the most amount of hits there. Stun. Oh my god, the stuns are real. The stuns are real. I uh, Icarus for no reason. Alright, let's uh, end this here with Ella Goku. Grab those orbs and no super attacks with the physical. Physicals are pretty much useless in this event. Oh, please finish the job, even though you didn't get your passive off. Ah, uh, so close. Why? Damn, I didn't want that to happen. It's okay. We can start off with our tech units anyway, so... At least we can defend for the first turn. Imagine we got another stun. <laughs> Alright, here we go, the last stage. Will Goku be able to finish off Vegeta? Will he be able to get his payback from the previous video? Alright, let's grab those for a super attack. And you can have nothing. And I'm going to... I'm going to Icarus, okay? Hopefully... This time, it's not wasted in the next turn as well. No stuns can happen. Nice, a crit. Doing no damage whatsoever. We get another crit. Can we finish Vegeta off before our Doken mode? That would be pretty sick. I know it's like somewhat easy because we have the 120 tech lead, but... You know, I feel like it's not going to be possible without him. I was gonna run Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but that's like, that's like pushing it. And guys, we are reaching 5,000 subscribers by the end of this week when this video is uploaded. So if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome if we can hit 5,000 subs when uh, I first started this channel one year before, which is 
uh, four, three days. I don't know what uh, day this is uploading, but it's around four or three days from here. Crits for the boy. Ah, uh, trying to be the animated muscle there. <laughs> for the boy. Yeah, it looks like we're going to do a Doka mode for the next turn. But with Ella Goku. Yes, please. And that should actually end it, honestly. If not, we probably die. I'm not going to use an item. I'm confident. Ella Goku, 100%. Was he worth it? Hey, we got all the dots there. Super Saiyan 1 is better than Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> Hashtag Super Saiyan 4 sucks. A 1.27 million. So there you go, guys. We did it. A full Goku team up against the strongest Vegeta Doken event. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button. We are trying to hit 5k by the end of the week. Share this video around and like the video, of course. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay busy. Peace out.